In this last one video on times and dividing by 10, 100 and 1000, we're going to pull everything together that we've done so far. Um, so here we had originally a number of 700. We've times it by 10 and we've got 7000. We times it by 100 and we've got 70,000. We've times it by 1000 and we've got 700,000. Here there are four digits when we times by 10. When there were only three digits originally, the number of digits has increased by one. Here there are five digits and here there are six digits. Every time as we've times by bigger power of 10, so times by 10, times by 100, times by 1000, the number of digits has increased. The number has got 10 times bigger each time. That's the pattern. It's going to help us do these kind of qu uh, questions all um, really quickly. So here we are again, same idea. Start with 70. That became 10 times bigger, 700, three digits. Start with two digits, now it's got three digits. Then it's got four digits, then it's got five digits. As we've times by more and more zeros, 10, one zero, we've added one, one digit, 100, we've added two digits, 1,000, we've added three digits. We can see the pattern that's emerging. Seven became two digits, three digits when times by a hundred, and four digits when times by a thousand. They've got ten times bigger each time. Seventy, seven hundred, ten times bigger, seven thousand, ten times bigger again. Point seven seven seventy seven hundred. It works the same with the decimal. Here we've only got We've got no digits in front of the decimal point. Now we've got one digit in front of the decimal point. Now we've got two digits to the left of the decimal point in front of it. Now we've got three digits to the left in front of the decimal point. The number of digits in front of that decimal point has increased every single time by one as we've gone up higher and higher. Number of zeros times 10 times 100 behind that one times a thousand. And let's just complete that with the rest. Oh, look, that pattern has been the same throughout. Four digits, five digits, six digits, three digits, four digits, five digits. There's only one digit in front of the decimal place. Now there's two digits. Now there's three digits. And little error here. That should be 2,300. Now there's four digits. And the digits haven't changed every time. If it was 2.2 .2 and a 3 to start with, there'll be a 2 and a 3 throughout. If it was a 7 to start with, there'll be 7s throughout. Okay, so what about dividing by 10? See, it's kind of like the inverse pattern, the reverse pattern. So the number of digits is going to get, you tell me, yeah, less each time. Here we've got five digits in front of the decimal, to the left of the decimal. Now we've only got four when we divide by 10. When we divide by 100, we've only got three left in front of the, the decimal. When we divide 1,000, we've only got two left. Look at those. The digits have stayed the same, sevens and zeros, sevens and zeros, sevens and zeros. The number of digits has reduced by one each time we've divided by another zero after that one, 10, then 100, then 1,000. The same thing happens here with starting with 7,000 instead of 70,000. We start with 7,000. That was four digits in front of the decimal. Now there's only three, now there's only two, now there's only one. They're 10 times smaller. As we go from divide by 10 to divide by 100 to divide by 1,000, the answers are 10 times smaller every time. And that carries on throughout. We can see that pattern is common throughout. Seven. There's two digits in front of the, the decimal place to the left of it. Now there's only one. Now there's none. There's no digits in front of the decimal place. Now there are two digits behind the decimal place. So two digits in front of the decimal place, one digit in front of the decimal place or to the left of. Now it's moved to the right of the decimal place. There are now no digits in front of to the left of the decimal. Now there are two digits to the right of that decimal place. They've got 10 times smaller. One digit in front of, one digit behind, two digits behind the decimal place, three digits behind the decimal place, which you can also think of as right, right or behind, whatever you find uh, makes the most sense to you and therefore is memorable. Five digits in front of the decimal place. Now only four, then only three, then only two. As we've divided by 10, 100, and 1,000, it's got 10 times smaller every time. Last one, let's just check it fits that pattern. 
four digits in front of the decimal place to the left of it, three digits to the left of it, two digits to the left of the decimal place, only one digit left to the left of decimal place. And all the digits are the same because we're dividing by 10 hundred That pattern holds two. Hopefully that's sewn all the different seeds together and you've now feel like you've got a good overview of how timesing and dividing by 10 and 100 and 1000 works. If you have, have a go at these questions and see if you can answer them. They're all mixed, a full range of lots of different types. Over to you. Press pause now. Press play when you've finished. I'm not going to explain, I'm just going to write the answers when we come back. Welcome back. Okay, so here are the answers to these mixed questions of dividing and times by 10 hundred I'm moving one place right, one place right, one place right, 54.3, let me write that more clearly. Two places right, 3,410. Two places right, 3,200. Two places right, 123.4. Three places right, 3,200. Three places right, 320. Three places right, one. Let's just try and line those up a bit so that's helpful seeing them. Uh, okay, now we're going left because they're going to get smaller. And so here we go. We're moving. Sorry, all of these were moving left because they were timesing. I kept saying right. All of these were moving left because we're timesing. Apologies, I kept saying right. Now when we're doing, all of these move left, all of these move left, all of these move left. Well, uh, the answers are correct, but what I was saying was uh, right instead of left. My apologies. 43 divided by 10, they're going to move one place to the right. 432 divided by 10, one place to the right. 0.2, one place to the right. 432, two places, because 100 has two zeros, two places to the right. 100 has two zeros, so two places to the right again. And all the digits finally move another two places, uh, the final two places to the right, to give us 0 0.002. If you got only, like, only two wrong or less, well done, great job. If you got none wrong, superb. You've got it. 